Farmington was acquired by a holding company led by Gene Chalopin, the owner of Dell Tech Bank, whose best known client is the stablecoin issuer Tether in 2020. After that, it applied and was approved by the Federal Reserve Bank of San Francisco in 2021. Then Alameda acquired a stake of a little less than 10% of the bank, just below the threshold for regulatory approval. Huh, just below the level for regulatory approval, trying to stay off the radar. In a press release, the bank said it has remained in close communication with our regulators throughout its business evolution and has built robust processes, programs, and controls to ensure all of our activities comply with all applicable laws and regulations. It says that Alameda has only a non-controlling stake and that FTX unwinding has unfairly affected its reputation. That's So that's why I opened with reputation risk. Reputation risk, as you know, is something that NCUA examines you on. The bank that has a, a $10 million investment in it by Alameda is indicating that they're being treated inappropriately appropriately and unfairly because they're, they're doing everything by the books. They've built robust processes, programs, and controls to ensure all their activities apply with applicable laws and regulations. And I'm not doubting what they're saying. I do find it interesting that they stayed below the regulatory threshold and they only have a 10% interest. Now that doesn't add up, all right? You've got $21.7 million in ad sets and only $10 million in deposits, but you but you invested $11.5 million in it. So $11.5 million is 50% of total assets and it's more than total deposits. So uh, are they saying that this bank is worth a hundred million dollars if they only bought, well, let's see, 10%, 11.5 million divided by 10% would be 115 million. So they're saying this bank is worth a hundred and fifteen million dollars because a eleven point five million dollar investment was only ten percent of its value, yet they only have ten million dollars in deposits. So in my 33 years in experience, I've never seen something astronomically valued like that, but maybe that's how things were played here at Alameda, at FTX. This is only chapter one of seeing who was tied to this, how they were tied to it. But if I was a credit union and I was considering offering apps for my members to buy crypto right now, I might pause that and I might reevaluate what it is I've got out there. Now, you don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater as it relates to blockchain. And I think there's a lot of potential there. There's a lot of smart people out there that say when you separate crypto from blockchain, there's some really cool things that will be coming down the pike. Uh, But I wouldn't want to be the market leader on that right now. I've got some podcasts coming up where we'll talk about the difference between crypto and blockchain with some really cool guests that are experts and know far more about that than I. Suffice it to say, do you want to risk your reputation by linking yourself to crypto? I certainly wouldn't. And I think there's more uh, more information and more allegations and more losses that are probably coming down the pike as as this whole situation unwinds and as people start investigating like the FDIC is investigating. All right, that's it. Mark Treichel signing off with flying colors.